Hello everyone. You're watching this video, I think, because you are doing research on some facet of the sociology of climate change. This website has resources that can help. In this video, I will show you how to navigate to the website's research tool, and I will describe the kinds of help that you will find there. I assume you are already familiar with this, the list of 25 topics that on this website together make up the sociology of climate change. Let's imagine that you want to do some research on one of these 25 topics. And let's say, for example, that it's topic number four, the impacts of climate change on food supplies. Here is how you would navigate the website to find help on that topic. Starting from the website's main page, which you must already know looks like this, you would click on the link for students' research guides. That takes you to this page of the website. The page lists all those 25 topics. Click on the topic you wish to study. In the example we are using, you would click on topic number four, food. When you do that, a dialog box opens up. You click on OK, and that'll open up a PDF document that you can download and print. Now, let's take a look at what's in this document. The first page describes the issue in greater detail. In our example, it starts with a discussion of the ways that climate change can impact the world's food supply. Then it goes on to discuss some of the so-called downstream effects of increasing hunger. What effects does increased hunger have on a people's health, on a nation's economy, on a nation's political situation, and so on? All research starts with a research question or questions. What's your research question? What is it that you wanna ask about climate and food? The discussion on this first page is designed to help you develop your research question. After that first page, the rest of the document goes on to list a variety of resources for finding answers to that question. On this page, you will find lists of the best scientific and governmental reports. On the next page, how to find relevant academic articles on Google Scholar, search terms you can use to do a general internet search, and the names of the best news sources, both print media and on the internet. On the last pages of the document here and here, I provide links to sources that I think you will find particularly useful when you are getting started. Looking back now at this page, here you will find links to similar documents for every one of those 25 topics. I hope you find these resources helpful. Good luck with your research.